astro meaning star, not voyager. Nobody has ever seen anything like you men until now. Money, fame, and immortality are explored in an upcoming space series called The Right Stuff. You'll be able to see it on Disney+. Plus. And the new drama follows astronauts uh, that are known as the Mercury 7 and the instant celebrities they became during their space mission in the late 50s. One of the seven is played by Canadian actor Patrick J. Adams, who you may recognize from Suits, and now in a space suit. Good morning, Patrick, <laughs> live from L.A., where it's really early. How are you? Good, good morning. It's a pleasure to be with you guys. I'm great. Congrats on this, by the yeah. way. How much did you know about the Mercury 7 going in? I actually knew quite a bit. The Right Stuff was one of my favorite books growing up. My father was a journalist and a big Tom Wolfe fan, gave it to me when I was about 14 years old. So I read the book and devoured it as a kid. So I was very excited to see that we were making a show about it. And then to be able to play John Glenn, I mean, is that like a bucket list moment for you? Oh, my God. I mean, I never would have imagined. Yeah, what a remarkable human being. It's very scary, though, you know, when you're playing someone who's that accomplished and done so much with his life. So uh, it felt like a huge responsibility. And sure. a long life at that. He passed away in 2016 at the age of 95. So did you hear mm -hmm. from his family at all or what went into researching for this, both physically and I guess in terms of his story? Uh, you know, I just tried to sort of learn as much about him as possible, scoured the internet, realized that wasn't going to be quite enough. And then I, I discovered that there were some archives at Ohio State University where I spent a couple of days sifting through boxes and just finding letters and old journal entries and everything I could get my hands on. I found poet. He, he was a poet as well. He wrote poetry. So I found all these like strange personal pieces of ephemera that really um, educated me about who he was, you know, when the cameras were turned off. And does that make it a little more, uh, I don't know if this pressure is the right word or exciting, uh, because if you are playing somebody who is historically there, of course, and, and a real life figure, there's already that pressure there, right? Because you want to get it right. But for someone that you idolize, Absolutely. is that even more for you? Yeah, you know, really the, the process of getting prepared was more humanizing himself for yeah. me. When I first got it, I was terrified because he loomed so large. Um, but as I got to know him better and learn more about him, it made him more human and ultimately made me just more excited to be able to kind of share what I was learning yeah. with, uh, with our audience. And wrapping your brain around these young men and what they went through, he was the first American to orbit the Earth, circling it three times in 1962. So it takes us right into that era, down of the cars, yep. you know, late 50s, yeah. early 60s. <laughs> and it was that line being blurred between private and public life, which is like modern day reality TV show and social media. So what's that yeah. all like tapping into that side of things? Yeah, they, they say it was sort of the first reality show yeah. in a lot of ways. You know, this was a group of test pilots. These were guys who were not used to doing anything but flying planes and sort of just hanging out with their own little community. And all of a sudden they were thrust onto the onto the public stage. So that was a huge part of our show and exploring like, what it what it took to to suddenly make yourself comfortable in front of cameras and for Glenn that was in particular a really interesting part because he was the only one of the seven that was really used to being in front of the camera and he sort of used that to his advantage to try and kind of maneuver his way to the top of the heap so knowing that you had this love for the right stuff back uh, back in the day and being a part of this show now when the yeah. opportunity arises, are you going to space? Are you saying, yes, <laughs> let's go? Or are you like, yeah, I'm all right? I'm on the Virgin Galactic <laughs> website basically every day, just like, how am I going to raise the money to pull this off? We're going to need a few more seasons of this show if I'm going to pull it off. So we got to get people watching. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not brave enough. I, I don't know. It's unbelievable to think what these young men did back mm -hmm. then to be the first. And I know it was that race, too. Who is the first yeah. that's going to send you know, their men? Which country is going to do it? And what do you make of all that, being the first to do something? I mean, it uh, takes uh, such a remarkable amount of courage. You know, they were also very educated and informed, and they were used to taking risks. Being a test pilot in the 50s was basically one of the most dangerous jobs you can yeah. imagine. So they, yeah. they were used to putting their lives on the line, but there's nothing that compares to sticking yourself on top of a nuclear bomb and, no. you know, putting yourself in orbit. They just didn't understand what would happen. So yeah. uh, pretty remarkable, pretty brave. You're awesome, as always. Mm -hmm. We miss you here in Canada. I know you've made L.A. your Thank home with you. your family. And we have our Thanksgiving coming up, which is perfect because that's when this begins to air just in time for Canadian Thanksgiving. <laughs> the right stuff on Disney Plus starting October 9th, which is Friday. What do you miss most about Canada, Patrick? 
Oh, right now, that turn of the season, the fall. Yeah. Oh, my God, that would be the best. Yeah, we have a place up in Georgian Bay that we love and watching the colors turn. I, I wish I could be seeing that now. That's nice. it. And a happy second birthday to your daughter. I know you just had the party yesterday. Yeah. So. Oh, thanks very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, she'll be up any minute now. Awesome. Sorry <laughs> if we woke her yeah. early, but we loved it and no, we love no, this. No, good. Congrats. Thank, Thank you, you so all. much. Good Thank to see you. you man. Bye bye. Take care. The right yeah, stuff. Check it out. Disney Plus, October 9th. We'll be back with more BT Canada right after this.